Alright guys, <laughs> kind of riled up right now, I just did that Tito Ortiz video. Man, what fucking pansy that dude is. Fucking prom queen, he ain't no Huntington Beach bad boy. Ask anyone in Huntington, is either Tank Abbott or Chemo. He a Huntington Beach prom queen, he ain't no fucking bad boy. Alright, what the fuck am I talking about? Next ultimate fighter, last ultimate fighter. Oh man, hey I know. I know. I don't even say anything. I know. I got propagandized, though. Let me tell you that. Let me get my side of the case. I watched the first two episodes. Kimbo's on the ground, looking marvelous, looking great, reversing everybody. And then I go ahead, make my prediction video based off the two episodes, seeing that Kimbo's come a long way. And then all of a sudden, he runs a roadblock. He can't reverse anybody on the ground. He can't get anybody off of him. Damn, what a fucking setup that was. Due to reasons of the propaganda con, I won't be giving any further Ultimate Fighter predictions, but I'll be doing some videos about them, giving my input. But there ain't no way in hell I can give predictions on that shit when you got all that editing and mix and match and all this bullshit. So, Kimbo did good on the feet. Roy Nelson didn't want any of Kimbo on the feet, and that says a lot because Roy Nelson fought the toughest guys on the feet. That says a lot about Kimbo's stand-up, but his ground is yet to be desired, and he need to work on that. Hopefully, he ain't one of those guys that can't learn on the ground. You know, like some kids just can't learn math. You can, like try to teach them math all and all that shit, and they just don't get it. All those symbols, they just don't get. And I hope Kimbo's not like that on the ground. But Kimbo's smart. I think he'll catch on. But he need to pick it up. Now, saying all that, giving my side of the case, I know I was wrong. I got propagandized to a certain extent, but hey. At least I'm mad enough to admit it. I got sucked into the, all the editing bullshit. I've, this is new to me. One thing I want to talk about. Is Kimbo got his ass kicked. I'm a fan of Kimbo, but he got his ass kicked on the ground. He'll tell you that. And everybody's like, hey, I kind of like Kimbo. He, he, he a humble dude. You know, he all of a sudden like all humble, and I kind of like that. Kimbo always been like that. It's just the first time he had a camera on him 24-7. You know? He beat Thompson, everybody talking shit, and he won. Now he's fighting the Ultimate Fighter, he lose. Barely anybody talking shit. It's funny how Dana White talking all that shit about Gary Shaw on Elite XC. And he he marketing Kimbo the same exact way. He doing the same exact thing, except Kimbo on his side this time. And he oh yeah, you know, Kimbo a great guy. He got a future in this sport. Man, what a bunch of corporate bullshit. That's just because Kimbo on his side now. And then everybody talks shit about Roy Nelson after he went. Motherfucker asked for a Big Mac? Go walk your ass, get his ass a Big Mac. Nope. Dana White talking shit about Roy Nelson. It's it's a bunch of drama. How you want to slice it? It's like drama. Kimball got his ass kicked. Fair and square. Roy Nelson won. Give him his credit. Next episode. They keep talking about how Kimbo going to make a comeback. And I really... That really kind of pissing me off because now they're just using this Kimbo thing way too much to get ratings. They just juicing the shit out of it. What about the other two guys that lost? You know, they got don't they got a shot too? What about Wes Shivers? Now, I know I'm gonna watch that Ultimate Fighter tomorrow, and I know Kimbo ain't gonna make a comeback. But they just said it to get you sucked in. Just like when Dana White said he was gonna fight Tito Ortiz, they had that whole two-hour episode. They didn't fight, and you watch the whole two-hour episode, and you thought they're gonna fight at the end. Nope, didn't fight. Just a bunch of hot. That really starting to piss me off. I hope I'm wrong. I hope uh, Kimbo make a comeback tomorrow and fight. Really doubt it, though. I really doubt it. Uh, I think it's going to be, uh, we, we all going to get propagandized and sucked into the hype machine. Uh, I'm not saying Kimbo's hype. I'm just saying Dana White is hyping up this next episode so much to get just as much, if not more, ratings as the last one. You know, you're going to cry wolf once or twice before people start getting pissed off. And I'm already pissed off before he start crying wolf and saying, oh, Kimbo's going to make a comeback. Okay, maybe next episode. All right, maybe next one. Well, who knows? Guess what? We got Kimbo. He's still in the house. And last episode, Kimbo don't make a comeback. What are you going to announce? Like Kimbo cereal? And have like marshmallows like Kimbo's beard? You know what I mean? It comes with the free little Kimbo action figure. How far is he going to take this shit? Fuck. You know, like his fucking, uh, the little Lucky Charm Man gonna move aside. He's gonna have fucking rainbows and beards. Kimbo on one side. I don't know. 
would figure he could get a co-promotion with cereal but can't get a co-promotion with another organization i could see that whatever i don't know but i don't think kimball's coming back next episode and um couldn't tell you who the fuck's coming back but um after it's done i'll definitely talk about it and so on and so on i don't know man i want to watch real fighters chilling working for a contract i don't want these real world production agents behind the scenes fucking telling them what to do this 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 go 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 over there okay now say this about kimbo okay now point out where shivers like this just let shit happen man it, we're we watching it for a reason we're going to watch you don't have to extravagantize everything man don't do it but we're going to watch anyway dina can't believe tito did that fucking guy wrong like that if i ever get rich yeah, you know, I might go on like a little mission hooking up the homeless guys with like credit card machines just to fuck with people. That'd be funny. Like they'd be like, hey, can I have some change? Like, no, I just got a credit card. All right, that's cool. Hey, uh, just, just slide it right here one of these days in a Todd world. <laughs>